Kansas City Chiefs will be in the Super Bowl after defeating the Ravens 17-10, and now they have to figure out how to get Taylor Swift from Tokyo to the game. Despite the fact that she'll be touring in Tokyo, Taylor said she did plan on attending the game and watching her husband Travis play. However, there is a major complication that no one saw coming. Because the Super Bowl is at a neutral site in Las Vegas and it's booked years in advance, all the tickets have already been purchased. Also to maximize profits in the Super Bowl, which is the NFL's biggest moneymaker, obviously, the players aren't given free tickets or suites the way they would for a home game. Not only that, since Super Bowl tickets are so expensive, they've already been purchased by A-list celebrities across the board. Taylor Swift would blend right in with the other celebrities attending the game. These tickets are sold months and months in advance, sometimes even before the season starts. So the Super Bowl was most likely sold out by the time Taylor even met Travis. Not only that, the people who own the tickets are so wealthy, there's no resale market because these people don't need any more money. So the Chiefs had to do something to get her to the game since they consider her a good luck charm. Instead of trying to buy a suite for tens of millions of dollars off someone else who already owned it, the Chiefs are opening a roster spot and signing Taylor Swift as an honorary member of the team so she can attend the game from the sideline legally. Nobody is allowed to be there except players and staff, but since she'll technically be a player signing a one-day contract, she'll be allowed to be there on the sidelines watching the game. Now, it might seem like a bad decision to cut a roster spot and lose one player for the game, but in the greater context, the luck she brings over a useless player who would never see the field, it seems like the right idea.